Hi guys and welcome back. Now we'll do the final exercise, the last exercise we'll do for this course. So, as you can see, we have this circles and this curved shape. And we'll start creating the shapes from the inside. I will go outside, okay? So, let's start with the biggest shape in here. Let's start with the center. As you can see, this circle here has a diameter of 100, right? Let's start working from this. We'll start with this 100 circle. So, let's click on the circle command. Click here. Let's put D, enter, and 100. Zoom out. As you can see, we have this diameter here. Now, let's go back here. We have this small circle from the same center. 25 diameter. Go back. From the same center, D, enter, 25, and then go back. As you can see, we have some kind of arches in here, but we'll leave it for later on. We'll go for this circle. As you can see, from this center to this one, we have a 90 line. So let's go and create a line from this center. We'll use the polar coordinate entry as we told you at 90 with an angle of what? Zero. Enter. And enter to end the circle. As you can see, we will create a circle with a center from this point. And as you can see, this circle has a diameter of what? 40. So we will type D, enter 40. And we have it here. Go to this one, which has a distance of 50 from this center, this center, and with a diameter of 25. So use the line. At we said the distance is what? It's 50. At 50 with an angle of 0 enter. In the session, go to the circle command. Here, let's put D, enter, and a diameter of what? 25, I guess. Yes, it's a 25. Now, this is really good. As you can see, we have some kind of circle and it's trimmed from this. It looks like a whole circle, but this part is trimmed. So, we'll just draw a circle, the radius of 25, and we'll trim this part, okay? So, let's go. Go to the circle from the same center. First of all, let's just delete these lines because they are just some kind of guiding lines. We don't need them. Go to the circle command here. But now we will type R for radius. Enter. Let's put. 25, enter, and we have this circle. Now, when we go back to the whole shape, we have this kind of bigger arc, and it looks like a whole circle when we draw this line. And this part has been trimmed, so let's just draw a circle with what? As you can see, this outer line has 
a diameter of 110 okay so now we go for the circle from the same center we'll put D enter 110 enter and now we will create a line that has a tangent for this outer circle and this outer circle so we'll go to the object snap and activate the what the tangent option from this list as you see this check will tell you that this command is activated so go back to the line and draw not a quadrant it has to be a what tangent so we'll deactivate we will deactivate the quadrant so it won't just make us more confusing when creating the line we'll go to the quadrant and deactivate this option okay now when you let's see here and still doing the same thing with the center we'll do it again deactivate the center okay let's see now now as you can see the tangent sign will be shown when you just point on the circle so pick this one and this one and, and we'll do it again from here to here right from this one to this one enter to end the session now as you can see this line is done we have created this line and we have created this line but these lines here drawn, we will use the train command to erase these lines, okay? So go back, let's select the whole shape and go to the what? The train command. We will do this and this, right? And as you can see now, this looks a little bit like this drawing but there is some kind of missing thing so as you can see there is looks like two circles here and here here and here and then we have this kind of arc that connects the two circles so, first of all, we have to draw this one, one, two, and this one, two, and then we will create the circles on the edges, okay? So, they tell you that this center line of these circles is, or having a diameter of 70. So, we will create just a guideline circle of a diameter of 70. So, you go here, go to circle, and then go back to activate the center. Create a circle with a diameter of D70. And as I told you, this circle will be just a guideline, okay? Going back the shape so we have drawn this circle right so now you have to draw a circle with what this is small circle one two three four have a diameter of 16 so if this whole diameter is 60 then the diameter of this one to this one and here this radius will be what will be 8, right? So if this was a 70 with a diameter of 70, then minus 8, it will be what? 62, right? So we will type 60. And this one will have, will have a diameter of what? 70 plus 8 will be 78.
still. Let's go back here. And I will change this for another color so that we won't be that this won't be things I will use for what? Yellow for example. Now I will draw a circle again from we from this center. Go back. It's activated. Activate the button and deactivate the tangent. Go back here. Click on the circle. And now we will what? We will create a circle with a diameter of D, enter, 78, enter, and then another circle with a what? D, enter, 62, diameter, enter. Now, we will create what? We will create go back to the drawing we have created this line and this line we can delete the line from here or we can use it to create as you can see we only have just this angle of 90 here between these two lines so the angle between this center and this center will be 90 so let's just erase a little bit, I think a little bit. Okay, so this is good. As I told you, we have an angle of 90 between this center and this center. So if this was 90, then this angle here will be what? 40. What? 5. So, go here. Let's delete this. Or let's just leave it here. We'll go to the line. Create a line that has what? A doesn't matter. Let's put it 100 at 100 angle of 45. Good. Doesn't matter, it's just a guideline we will delete. Here again, this was 45 plus 70. We'll have what? This at 45 plus 90. Angle of. Hmm, doesn't help. What calculation forty five ninety what one thirty five so we here at one thirty five an angle of oh I just forgot one thirty five an angle of what one thirty five So as you can see now we have created like this two lines which has an angle between them of 90 and to make sure we go to this and go to angular between this line and this line as you see is 90 and we did a great job now we will what we will create a circle that have so we will create a circle from the intersection of this guideline and this guideline here, okay? And these circles, I told you, they have a diameter of what? 60. Let's go. Now let's go here, do the circle. From the intersection, type D, enter, 16. Enter. So, 
I guess we did something wrong. Go to the linear one. This from here to eight, which is really wrong. So can delete this and this. Don't move them. They just made us for delete this line and then go back to the circle command as I told you from the intersection of this guideline and this guideline the intersection type D enter and then 16 enter and we have circle and now what will create what I will delete this line and this one type D go back and now we have a kind of what like this curve that connects these two circles we can use the curve command or we can just draw a circle and then turn these let's go and use our command we will use what start center end start end and what see the options and angle specify the start point go B go and then say this and this and active tangent go here or we just use another one we will use what or just use no. You have to use this command. Start in and radius. Go here. Go. Activate again. Button, go here, go to the center, supply start point, activate the tangent, this, this, and activate. Then this, this. There's something wrong with what? Control D, space, space, D, okay. Control D. Let's just use the circle for now. Go to the circle again. Here. This one. I will make what tangent so I can go here and then now I will make a smaller one, go to the circle, activate from this center. Want to be in, in, want to be not center. Go to this here, here, and now we can delete some lines. Let's do the trimming thing. Go here, click all these shapes, right click. I want to what? Let's one and this one as well and then I want to delete this line and then escape I don't need this line anymore right so I will delete it and then use the trim again to what to read this and this escape 
And now we had a similar one to this one. And we will use now the mirror command to copy this shape from here to here. So go here. This is the mirror command. One. This. This. Right click. To buy the first point. I want it to be this. Go and put the quadrant from here to here. The rays no. And as you can see, now we have created this shape and they both look similar. And now how about we put the dimensions and put them on layers? Put this down. Go and use this. Let's from the center, 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 go. To the dimension. Activate again. Go here. 90. Again. Enter. 50. And now we will walk. They all have radiuses. This one. This one. We will do the radius for all the shapes, so go. Let's see where is the radius. The radius of this one. Just on this one. So I will activate this. Up here. As you can see, radius of. Now go to the diameter and then choose circle and then circle this one this one and then this. You can whether put it inside the shape or you can just let all the dimensions be outside the drafting that you are doing. But this is it, that's it for now. Now we can just create a new layer, we'll name it dimension. Enter, let's change the color, size, okay. Close it and now we will select all the dimensions and we will put it on the Y layer of dimension. This, as you can see now, we have created the shape with the dimensions on it. 